bullets and numbers in Quark Express 9 pretty much work the way you probably expect them to work. Plus there's some nice things that you can specify for typography and I want to show you a bit of that. Let's zoom into our text box here. What we have is we have a text box. When I turn on invisibles you see there's different paragraphs in here and if I want to apply a bullet style to that I'll just go to my measurement palette. I'll move to the paragraph attribute tab and in here I have different default styles. I'll just apply the default bullet style and you can see now every paragraph gets a bullet automatically. And of course, if I hit return here behind a paragraph, automatically the bullet is being applied. Of course, I could specify the outset and what kind of character I want to see here. Same thing is true for the numbering style. So in this case, I just select all of my text again. I choose the default numbering style. Now you can see that each paragraph has a number. And of course it works the way I expect it to work. So if I hit return here, the eight is being inserted. What used to have an eight is a nine now. However, for my font size, for my font here, I don't like the default style because the nine and the zero are not aligned. I want to have the numbers right aligned. You can also see that the 10 pushes in the first line of this paragraph. I want to specify my own style. So how do I do that? Easy, I'll go to edit, bullet numbering and outline styles, and I'll create my own numbering style. I'll just call that my numbers. I can specify a formatting thing. In this case, I want to just use the formatting that comes from the paragraph. I can say whether I want to have Roman numbers or I want to have Arabic numbers or letters. In this case, I'll go for the Arabic numbering. Don't need prefix and suffix. Size of this character should be the same as the character of the paragraph. The outset seems to be a bit much. I want a tenth of an inch. And of course, I want to have the numbers right aligned. So I'll say OK. I'll save this. I select all of my text again and I'll choose my numbering style. And you can see now that this looks the way I want it to look like. I have my numbers. I have my nine and my 10 right aligned here. I don't have an extra inset anymore from the first line. And of course it works the way I want it to work. So if I have a line here, first level, I hit return, I'll get a nine. And maybe now I want to have a second level here. So instead of a nine, I want to have an 8.1, an 8.2 and stuff like that. How do I create that? Same way, I'll go to edit, bullet numbering and outline style, and I'll create a new outline style. And I'll call that my numbers in levels. I can specify up to nine levels. In this case, I just need three. And my first one, well, I want to use the same indent, so a tenth of an inch for all of them here for the first three. My first one will use the formatting of my numbering style. The second one also my numbering style. However, here I want to specify a character that separates the first and the second level. So I want 3.1 or 7.1. So I need to specify a dot here and click on this checkbox to say include on this level, include the one from the level above. And my third one is just going to be a default bullet style, my third level. Okay, save that. I'll multiple select everything again here and choose the my numbers and levels style. You can see that on first sight, nothing has changed. So now I go to my first level. Here's my second level. I put my text cursor in that line and now I go down here to the indent button. I click on it. Now you can see that I have an 8 and an 8.1 and if I hit return I get an 8.2, 8.3 and so on. And if I want to have this one on the third level I'll just hit my indent button again. I get a third level and now you can see that here I get my default bullet style. Okay, so far so good. What about if I have external editors that want to change this, maybe use Microsoft Word? Then the nice thing is after I've created this level style here in Quark Express, I can go to File and I can save my text. In this case, I want to save all of my text. 
and I call that my numbered list. I save that as a Word document, on my desktop, and now when I open this, my numbered list in Microsoft Word, you can see that I'll get the same leveling that I had in Kong Express also in Microsoft Word. And of course, I can import that back into Quark Express again and again retain these levels.